Hello, I'm Kylie Jacobs, and this is your UWW TV News Update. Campus offices will be closed to the public on November 26th, the day after Thanksgiving. Employees from these offices may work remotely, work in a quieter environment on campus, or take a vacation day. While there are some campus services that must be maintained through the 26th, all supervisors have been asked to minimize scheduling that day. Students are reminded of the shortened academic week during the week of Thanksgiving. Classes will only be in session Monday the 22nd and Tuesday the 23rd, with classes resuming fully on the 29th. During this time, the residence halls and other campus facilities will remain open to students. Following the Thanksgiving break, students are in class for three more weeks, with their last day of class prior to finals being December 10th. Finals week is December 13th through the 17th, with winter commencement being held Saturday, December 18th. And we'll have more updates after a quick break. We'd love to show you what it's like to be a Warhawk. Come on! Whitewater. You belong here! This time of year, students are focused on class registration for the spring semester, as well as wrapping up final projects, papers, and assignments. Here is a reminder that the best results tend to come from organization, planning, and proper pacing. UWWTV wishes all students the best in wrapping up the semester in a healthy, safe, and productive way. The university wishes to reaffirm our commitment to a drug-free campus. Students and campus employees are reminded that the unlawful possession, use, distribution, manufacturing, or dispensing of illicit drugs and alcohol are offenses, which are subject to disciplinary action up to and including expulsion and termination. A student who is found responsible for violating these policies will be assigned appropriate disciplinary sanctions, including educational or SIR sanctions, disciplinary probation, enrollment restrictions, suspension, and expulsion. Students at UW-Whitewater, including the Rock County campus, will be assisted in connecting with drug or alcohol counseling, treatment, and rehabilitation or reentry programs through university health and counseling services. For more updates, stay tuned to UWWTV, check us out at uwwtv.org, or tune into the 24 hour stream at uwwtv.housing.uww.edu. I'm Kylie Jacobs, and this has been your news update on UWWTV.